This is a story of a three-day adventure. In this one, we rode mountain bikes on dirt roads, had a bonfire night, chased a beautiful sunrise, hiked to another village, and learned how to surf. All in this one big adventure you are about to witness. No great story ever begun with, and we stayed at home all day and did nothing. So, let's start from the beginning. We joined a weekend adventure trip to Butre and Busia, which was organized by Bike Adventure Ghana and promised three main things. Mountain biking, hiking, and learning how to surf. We left Accra very early, followed the protocols to start the journey, and we set off. So let's get to it. arrived at the Takrade Mall. It's behind me right there. And in this uh, <laughs> in this vlog I'm gonna try as much as possible to record most of the activities of the whole weekend in camera like this instead of going home and you know trying to reenact the whole story and sitting down and you know re-recording everything from scratch. So we just arrived here and we're gonna be spending about 30 minutes. This is our rest stop and then we're gonna head out to our rendezvous point where we're going to cycle all the way to Butre. I think it will be about 12 kilometers, but yeah, this is our first rest stop. I'm gonna go, you know, get a snack, pee or something and uh, get ready for a fun weekend. It's gonna be three days, so yeah. See ya. to do our first activity for the day which is cycling from this particular spot um, all the way to the lodge which we're going to stay at so I'm planning on actually enjoying all the activities as well so I'm not going to be able to be filming this with my camera and so yeah I'll meet you guys at the lodge um, these are the bikes that we're going to be using try and get a good one as much as possible but we're getting ready to cycle. This is the first activity for the day, and this is day one. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys. Hi! So, yeah. I'm doing this from the iPhone. So, the quality will be different, plus, the sound might be terrible. But it's fun. It's real fun. Okay, so we're finally at uh, hideout and I know he advertised 11 kilometers for the ride but I sincerely think it's way more than 11 and uh, oh boy boy will I do this again yes <laughs> I don't think so you will do it again but we are hideout right now and um, we're gonna drink some coconut and then we're going to get our rooms allocated and rest a little bit I'm not swimming because I can't touch water with my hair or what hair. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. So, drink some coconut and uh, yeah, day one. Let's see how it goes. The hideout lodge really lives up to its name. It's a hidden oasis about 12 kilometers from the town Bokro. It has decent rooms and very regular meals, which I'd give an overall 50% score or two and a half stars. The meals especially could use some improvement in my opinion but the beach oof, the beach is beautiful and makes the trip very much worth your while so we rested after the ride and had our lunch and um, later we had a bonfire night getting to know the other participants who were on this trip
The morning of day two promised a breathtaking sunrise at the rock beach. And as tired as we were, we dragged ourselves out of bed at 5 a.m. to try and catch it. We woke up very, very early to try and catch the sunrise, but when we got here, since we are not nature gods, well, we couldn't control that aspect of the weather and catching a beautiful sunrise, so that part was ruled out, but the shots here, oh my goodness, the shots here are just amazing, like, I don't know why nobody has actually considered making a music video, I don't know if somebody has already, a music video over here at this time of the day, like, it's just grayish blue and just moody, oh, you guys, this is, this is beautiful. I came here three years ago, but this time I'm coming with um, a group of people who are also like really amazing, pleasant people. And I'm just loving it. This is day two in the morning. Like we all woke up to actually come and try and get the sunrise. But yeah, we ended up having more fun. Missing the sunrise, but yeah, not missing it. They didn't show up as we wanted. But it's still beautiful anyway. So this is the guy who organized the trip, Kojo. <laughs> Charlie, so how did you come by this? Like, I don't get it. Okay, so I started with a group trip. Uh, I came with a group trip uh, here. And I was like, okay, why can't I cycle here one, one or two days or something? And so by on yourself. the next trip, yeah, by myself. Because the bus ride was like a little too controlled. bus ride and controlled, yeah. And so, the next time, I did it by bike. And I came with my tent, and I camped over there. And from there, I walked over, got here, and I really liked the way this place is. And I was like, okay, why can't I share with the whole world, everybody? And one trip led to another, bike adventure was born, and Freme Kwame is here today. <laughs> <laughs> and we are trying to catch the sun, the rising sun so nice that's why we are waiting right. so the sun finally showed up but while trying to get a time lapse my canon rp battery just gave up on me for day two we're going to do three hikes one to the rock beach another to ford battenstein overlooking the picturesque butre town and then we hike for another three to four kilometers to Busia. I think the hikes were four because there was another one we would do at Busia. Climbing up to Fort Battenstein was a bit of a trip, but if I say the views were out of this world, I really mean it. And it was worth going up there. So we're on top of Fort Battenstein? Whoa! We took pictures and enjoyed the view for a while and then made our way to Busia before the sun got too hot to hike in. So, let's go and see what Busia and Day 3 has for us. Busia is a special place for me and I'll tell you why very soon. But before that, we had lunch. After we had our lunch, we walked to another fort which is Fort Metal Cross and that was our last activity before day three, the surf day. So this is day three of the adventure and it's the final day. And the beautiful story about this particular day in the adventure is that I grew up, or well, I stayed here for a little bit, and we left here, or my family left here, about 23 years ago. And today, I'm back on this beach. And it's the final day of our adventure and we're going to do um, surf lessons. So, it's a bit surreal to be back here after 23 years. And the final day of our three-day adventure, surf lessons. I'm not swimming, I'm not getting in the water, but yeah. I'll film it and I'll show you. So yeah, stick around.
overboard. Two, your hand should be more like a chicken wing. So back with Teddy, the instructor was very patient and very detailed with his instructions. And after a few demonstrations, the crew was ready to get in the water. And I have to say that, yes, I'm going to make a full detailed version of the surf lessons as a separate video for all those who are watching this video right now and are interested in learning how to surf. But in the meantime, let's have some fun before we sign out out of this video. guys so this is the sign off it's been three days of amazing content is it content no amazing experiences the content is what you're watching and I hope you um, yeah I got a feel of what we've been up to or did in the last three days at Busia at Butre and yeah look at this <laughs> so I'm signing off because I told you before, I don't want to record anything external. I may do a bit of voiceover to add to it, but this is it. It's been mad fun and I'll link uh, Bike Adventure in the description below so that if you want to join their next adventure, you can hit them up as well. So that's it from me <sighs> for this vlog. Catch you in the next one. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>